When we applied for this Global Citizen Fellowship, um, one of the key questions we were asked is what is it that you're passionate about? Um, growing up Guamashu and also being the first born girl daughter, um, I see that so much adultification of children happens, right? Um, where this phrase of being born into poverty limits children so much, not only in terms of the opportunities that they have access to, but also in how and when they can have fun. Um, where a child is burdened with so many extra responsibilities and duties where eldest children are having to look after younger children and there's no capacity or time for playing um, and that's the thing that I was passionate about and that's the reason why I joined Global Citizen you know um, it's great to be passionate about things and wanting to change the world um, but the reason I specifically applied for this fellowship was because I needed to figure out how to put that passion into practice um, and being here and working at Global Citizen this great NGO that does such great work in ending poverty now um, it's really gifted me with like a lot of tools that I'm going to be able to use to hopefully find a way to fix those problems that I've seen and I'm hoping to to change back home Guamash. Actually in 2019, um, so pre-COVID, we know that all put a span in everyone's work. Um, there was like a small project that I already started running, um, that D and D section, Guama where um, a lot of the ways that children can have fun are not expensive. So it is really just saying to people, hey, at San Beni, let's go to this museum. Um, and you get kids who get to go there and they see all of these great things. And now instead of just only wanting to be a teacher or a nurse, all of a sudden the world has opened up for them a bit more. Um, however, now having done this fellowship and working at Global Citizen, um, I know what it takes to scale projects and also make them more impactful. So I'm looking forward to taking the lessons that I've learned over this past year um, and reworking, reimagining what was just a, a sort of idea between friends of how can we get children to play more um, into something meaningful, into something bigger than myself, hopefully. So why South Africa, um, Nigeria and Kenya? If we start here at home, um, Bloomberg released an article about, I think it was six months ago, um, just highlighting the stark unemployment rates that we have um, here in South Africa. Um, it is the most unequal country on the continent and we're working with um, a very staggering statistic of 35% of our young people are unemployed. So, you know, we took that on um, and uh, we've essentially um, taken on the mission of ensuring that we can educate, um, elevate and employ our young people into their most productive use, into really unlocking the potential that exists within them. So for South Africa it was a no-brainer. It really made sense that we're here to play our part in solving that piece of the puzzle. You know, if everyone comes collectively and we're all trying to create employment opportunities and trying to place our young people into their most productive use, I think, you know, we can really tackle this big beast that is the highest unemployment rate on the continent. So that's South Africa. Now, if we move to Nigeria, Nigeria is the most populous country on the continent. We've got about 200 million people that are living in Nigeria. It is also very sadly the poorest country on the continent. Our mission at Global Citizen is to envision really is to end extreme poverty now and we know that poverty traps are directly linked to the ability of people being able to um, earn a living you know and have economic welfare to, to have economic equity and be able to access resources for themselves and sustain their own households at a community level beyond even looking at a national level right so we um, have sort of taken that on to understand geographically you know where where can the greatest impact be had? And so we're really happy that um um, with thanks to our partners at Be Good and Tyler Perry, we were able to expand this program beyond South Africa. It started here um, on the Mandela 100 festival stage where this commitment was made to unearth the potential of 50 young people across the continent. And just last week, we've come back from witnessing the graduation of 10 Nigerian fellows. And what we have sort of handed over to them, you know, the baton that we've, we've left them with is to say, you've graduated, you've been equipped with the tools that you need to thrive in the working world, um, please take it upon yourselves to open up opportunities for others and be champions for impact, be community leaders in your own right. So 
Nigeria made sense in that regard. Um, when we think about Kenya and just you know the geographic spread and representation from across the continent, Kenya has really been um, an example of a country that has adopted technology into its development outcomes and you know we see it in the mobile health mobile agriculture spaces and a big part of what we do as you pointed out is we enable our young people to utilize digital technology for social change and so Kenya made sense for us in understanding how they can use innovation in tackling you know the the big pressing problem the big audacious goal of ending extreme poverty we currently deliver our, um, our action-taking solution through our digital platform which lives on our website and on our app at globalcitizen.org and it's really um, an opportunity for us to expose Kenyans to that ability of using technology to take action and to grow our community there in essence because we started in South Africa, we've expanded into Nigeria where we have you know, operational presence in Johannesburg and Lagos but what we've also seen is that our Kenyan audience is growing so this is a real opportunity for us to expand our presence across the continent. For more stories like these go to www.social-tv.co.za Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.